God bless you and good morning. Matthew 7, verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Probably be a little longer than a short this morning. I uh, just wanted to, I don't know if this potato of a camera will pick up the beautiful stars and moon tonight, this morning. Woke up today to the little spoiled cat coming up meowing and little dog letting out to uh, not get ate by the coyotes and just beautiful, beautiful morning. Stars like this, half co half a, just a streak of clouds half through the sky and they've moved on. But that verse is just kind of timely with uh, one of the elders uh, spoke at church yesterday and there's about 4,500 different branches of Christianity, and somebody will argue the numbers, that's fine. You know, there could be 50 different branches, or there could be 10,000, and it it's still the same point. It's a straight path, and if you notice, straight is spelled with no G. So you're not talking like straight is in a straight line, but straight is in cramped, uh, close, tight, you know, basically narrow, you know, just for redundancy of words there. So that path, that gate, you know, it's paved. And I guess if you visualized it, you looked at it, that it's paved with paving stones. There's expansion joints in the concrete, whatever way you want to look at it. But there's a lot of different strides that people take. A lot of, you know, somebody that's five foot isn't going to have the same step pattern as somebody that's 6'5". And, you know, how we hit how we hit our steps is going to make a difference in the end. But at the same point in time, you know, God knows we're human. God knows that we're just mere men. I mean, you can tell, by the way, whenever Jesus rebukes his friends, his disciples... He doesn't scorn them. He doesn't say, oh, you've lost faith, faith for a second. You're going to hell. It's, you know, I know it. You know, you, you know, you know, kids, you're rich in the cookie jar. You know, I knew you would. Um, you know, just, just be careful who's keeping you on that narrow path and who's keeping that path themselves versus... Versus who's getting off of it and getting away from the Bible and going their own way. That are creating doctrine that really isn't doctrine. You know, because the only doctrine you're going to find is in that book. And if somebody's having to twist and drag it or condemn others for following doctrine that's in there. Um, I can tell you with my church right now, you know, um, we take communion. We get baptized and we take communion. And I love both of them. And I, it's absolutely there in the Bible. And, you know, a little bit, you know, with the whole coronavirus syphilates, you know, communion is these sanitary little cups, and it's not about the breaking, the sharing. Um, I, I think we're losing something there. I think we're getting away from it. I'm new to the faith, you know, who am I to, who am I? But at the same time, you know, I mean, how many times does it say in the Bible to repent and be baptized? It's more than once. You know, and spoke to a lady who, you know, she's a great lady. She's strong in the faith, but it, it went straight from this, uh, Straight from this, how good it was that the church that she goes to now, they all carry into their Bibles to this driven in that baptism is just a sim, symbolic thing. It doesn't have to be, and just don't even know where it came from. You know, I was neither promoting nor defending, you know, where I go, just saying where I go to church, and it, and that pops in there. You know, follow the Bible, read your Bible, and that way you can see it. Because uh, I, 
I pray she finds finds what's right and I'm no one to say whether it's right or it's wrong but you know if it's in the Bible and somebody's telling you not to follow it you might want to might want to read a little bit and pray on it y'all have a blessed day folks keep the faith